Hello, my name is Ioannis. This is in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to Unity 5. I'm going to double click on the Unity 5 icon. We are going to create a new project. We're going to name our project appropriately. We're going to locate the folder where we'd like to save our project. We're going to make sure that the 3D option is selected and click Create Project. Give some time and your project files will be created and your actual project window will open. Once this is done, you will notice the default layout is added here. However, you can always change this. For example, the Services tab is here. You can bring your Services tab here. The Inspector tab is there. You can bring the Inspector tab here. You can reduce the height of these tabs so you have a bigger picture of your actual game. Once you are happy with that, you can go to the layout, click Save Layout, put your name, and then type the word Layout. Click Save. If you would like to go back to the original layout, you can go to the drop-down list here and select Default. And this will take you to the default layout. Right. The next thing we need to do is go to Assets menu and select Import Packages. Here we have a number of different packages. So what we need to import for this project is the Characters Package. Click Import. Give some time for the Characters Package to be imported onto your project. And once this is done, you need to go to the Assets menu again one more time and we are going to select import package this time we're going to select environment now the characters and the environment packages is what we need for this project the next thing we need to do once our environment package has been installed successfully is to go to the hierarchy panel Drop down the list on that Create tab, select 3D, select Terrain. If we use our wheel on our mouse, we will be able to zoom out. If we hold down the wheel on our mouse and drag, we will be able to actually move around on our scene. If we hold the ALT key down, our mouse cursor will change to the little i, and by clicking and dragging, left clicking and dragging, we'll be able to rotate ourselves around our terrain. The next thing we need to do is go to the Assets panel, double-click on the standard assets, double-click on the characters, Double click on the third person, double click on the prefabs, and then click and drag third person onto your terrain. If we zoom in a little bit here, we'll be able to actually see our player. You can use the handlers. If you cannot see the handlers, make sure you select this option here on the top. Now, Here's a character. Our character is fairly small in comparison to our terrain. So we can actually keep using the wheel to zoom in. So I'm using here the first option here, the hand tool. 
and keep zooming in by using a wheel. Now, if I use the second option here, the move tool, select my player, I can bring him down. If I use the hand tool, I can move around, zoom in. As you can see, my player is floating in the air. If I use this option again here, the selected object tool, bring him down. If I hold the wheel on my mouse, I can click and drag the shortcut again for the hand. As you can see here, my player is floating in the air. But if I push him too far down, it goes under uh, my terrain. So I don't want him to do that. So let's put him slightly above. Now, if we put him further up, it doesn't really matter because if we click play, it's just going to see him falling down. Now, we cannot see him now because we need to bring our camera behind the player. How do we do this? Let's move a little bit here. Let's bring it slightly further down. Now, what we need to do is click once on the camera, go to the inspector's panel, and we'll be able to see the position of the camera, which is 0x, for x value is 0, for the z value is minus 10. If I click, however, on my player, I will be able to see the location of my player 346 by 399. So 346 by 399. I need to click on my camera and I need to put the X value 3, 4, 6 and I go, go, go back to my third person 399 is the next value I'm going to go back to my camera and I'm going to change the Z value to 399 if I press enter I will be able to see my camera is exactly in the same position as my player so what I need to do, I need to push the camera further back and as I push my camera further back, I will be able to see my player. I'm going to raise my camera a little bit. And what I will need to do now, is use the third option tool here. Now this third option tool is called the rotate the selected object tool. If I use the little red line here and click and drag downwards, will be able to rotate my camera slightly. If I go back to the move the select object tool and click and drag the yellow handler and the gray handler, I can actually raise it up. Now, if I press play now, I will be able to see my character here. And if I use the arrow keys on my keyboard, I can see my character moving back, forward, left and right and if I keep going to the right my character disappears. The next thing I need to do is bring the camera to my player. So I'm going to click and drag my main camera to the third person controller. Now when I press play the camera is attached now to my player so as my player moves the camera moves too. Okay, I've created my player and I've dragged my camera to my player. So the next thing we need to do now is zoom slightly out of our terrain, select our terrain object. And now with the terrain object selected, we are going to select on the inspectors panel the first option. We're going to reduce or increase the size of, of our brush. So I'm just going to put 100% for now. And I'm just going to click track on the mountains here, create some mountains here. And I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. Create some more some smaller ones here. Now the next thing I need to do is smooth these mountains and the hills by selecting the third option here. Now, 
if I would like to make the top part of my mountains uh, flat, I need to select the second option. Oops. Now, if I would like to reduce the height of my hill, of my mountain, I can click on the first option with the shift key down, hold it down on the keyboard. I can actually click and drag here. So I can just reduce the size of my mountains or my hills. If I use this option here, I can smooth it up a bit. So you need to play around with these tools until you are happy with the look of your mountains. Let's put this there here. Okay. Once you are happy with this, let's actually reduce this. I'm holding the shift key down. Okay, that's better. Now let's smooth it up a bit. Now my player, Ethan, is called, is here. Let's use that. So my player is here. So the next thing I need to do with my terrain still selected, click on the terrain. I'm going to use this tool here the Paint Texture tool. Now I'm going to click on the Edit Textures, Add Texture, click on the Select. Scroll down until you find the Grass Rock, double click it, click Add. So my whole terrain now is Grass Rock, so if I click on the Play, I will be able to see my player and, and the mountains, so I can actually run on the hills, on the mountains, and I can see my world now in 3D. Okay, the next thing I need to do is go back to the, with the same tool selected, the paint, uh, the terrain texture tool selected. I'm going to click on the edit textures, add texture, click select, scroll down, and I'm going to select the Grass Hill option, click Add. Now with the Grass Hill option selected now, picture selected, I can actually click and drag certain areas of my terrain. So my player is, let's see, where is Ethan? So Ethan is here. So let's click on the terrain. So I'm just going to, oops. Select this brush here. Okay. Let's press play. So you can see the terrain is full of grass here. However, if I go further down, okay, it's changing nicely and smoothly, so it's more realistic. Now, stop this top of the hills, I'm just going to make it a bit more rockery, so I'm going to click on the edit textures again, add the texture, click select, scroll down, and I'm just going to select this option here, cap O2, and I'm going to reduce the brush size, oops, I need to click add first, select it, I'm going to go back to the edit textures, add texture, select. I'm going to select another texture, mode rocky, click add, select the mode rocky. Let's put this there.
and if I click play I can actually see my terrain changing Okay, the next thing we need to do is put some trees. We're going to select this option now. We're going to select Edit Trees, Add the Tree. We're going to click this option here, and then we're going to select our first tree. Double click it, click Add. Now, we can reduce or increase the size of the brush to actually cover different areas. And just, I'm just going to click in different areas now I'm gonna go to the edit trees again add the tree click on this option again I'm gonna select a different tree double click it click add a different tree selected option I'm just gonna finish that zoom out a little bit And I can go to add another tree. Select this tree here. Click add. And if I press play now, we've got the shades of the trees. Okay, the next thing I need to do is put some grass. I'm going to go to the next option here, Place Plants, click on Edit Details, Add Grass Texture. I'm going to click on this option here, and I'm going to, on the search bar, I'm going to type the word grass. I'm going to click on this option, click Add. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use the wheel. Okay. Let's see where Ethan is. So Ethan is there, hiding behind the trees. Okay, so I'm just going to click on my terrain now. Make sure this option is selected. I'm just going to give some grass here. Let's press play. Okay. Let's stop that. Let's zoom out. Right, in less than 20 minutes, I have managed to create my own world by using Unity and by using the ready-made assets. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own assets. Thank you for watching.